Hey guys, this is Erica, etc. Reminding you to comment, rate, and subscribe to my videos. Enjoy the show. Toodles! Okay, today's episode. Oh, my name's Eric Center, by the way. I keep forgetting. I don't never say my name in the front. And and how y'all know it's supposed to be me if you haven't subscribed? Yeah, that's that's a clue to you. Subscribe. Because you don't know my name unless you subscribe. But I'll tell y'all anyway. <laughs> my name's Eric Etc. And today's topic is about um, let's see. Breaking chains and moving mountains. <laughs> um, okay, the reason why I did this is because, okay, refund checks are coming, tax refund and student refund if you're student, but, um, people rely so much on, on refund checks, and I hate to say, hey, I like them too, I like refund checks too, but you gotta have something, or you at least gotta save a little bit of it. So you can have something to fall back on. I see so many people, they get their refund check, spend it all up, and guess what? In a month, they have zero dollars. Zero. At least save a little bit of it. We got to save people, you know? So that comes to my point of breaking these chains. Overspending is a chain that needs to be broken. We have to have budgets, especially as young people. I'm 22, and I'm a first-time renter. Um, so when I moved in, I'm not gonna tell y'all that, but when I first moved my apartment, my, my eyes were bigger than my account. And I was like, I want this, this, and this. But I wasn't thinking about all the times I have to do security deposits, um, you know, first month, second month for stuff like that, start up for utility. We, when we first get out here, we don't think about that. We don't think about what we need to do and how we need to do it. We just, just try to branch out. Now, I'm not going to joke. If it wasn't for my mom, I would be like, oh, my God, right now. But I'm glad I listened to her and saved money and stuff like that for rainy days. Because you need to. That's the chain we need to break, especially as black people. We, we go out and buy all this stuff, do this and do that. But then when rent's due, you don't have the money. Or, you know, our lights get cut off and stuff like that. We have to be a little bit smarter. We have to. We really have to be a little bit smarter in our decisions financially. So that's a chain that needs to be broken. That's chain number one that needs to be broken. Okay, chain number two. Blame it on the next man. No, it's not the next man's fault. You didn't get that job. It's not the next man's fault that you couldn't pay your bills. It's not the next man's fault that you got your car repossessed. Whatever the case may be. It's not it's not the next man's fault that you have no friends. That's a chain we need to break. Stop blaming it on the next man or what other people have done. Okay. The problem is staring you in the face. Well, it's not, I'm not staring in your face because I'm staring in the face. But you go to a mirror, it's, it's going to be, so it'll be you. So, <laughs> we have to break out of that, guys. Stop blaming it on the next man. Because the next man has his stuff together. And we have to learn how to be like that kind of person, you know. Everybody's so quick to point fingers and blame. No, the reason why you're in a situation is because you put yourself in that situation. No one else. When you stop blaming other people and you accept defeat or you accept responsibility in life, you can move mountains. See, I had a point for that. I had a point to move mountains. Break that, break that chain, please. The third chain to break is these seasonal friends. You have friends that come in and out your life. You're cool with them one day and you're not so cool with them the next day. 
and even I've been um, responsible for this. You know, you ignore some of the friends that mean so much to you. They care about you to be with seasonal people. God puts people in your life for seasons for a reason so you can learn. You can learn what to look out for. Your pitfall, your obstacle. You want permanent friends. We need to break that chain of these seasonal friends. I'm going to tell you, I think a permanent friend will be there when you have money, when you don't, when you're up, when you're down. But on the other hand, that's not a real friend if they're only by you if you have something. You know, that's not good. Or the friend is constantly asking you for stuff. Constantly, constantly, constantly. It's supposed to be a give and a take situation. It's supposed to be 50-50, not 60-40, not 70-30, 50-50 down the line. That's true, friend. You give a little sometimes, they take a little sometimes. Or you know what I mean. But we need to stop with these seasonal friends. And I'm seeing it so much in college. These seasonal friends. Your real friends are going to be there through thick and thin and care about you. And that's what we have to look out for. We need to be around people that can build us up. We build each other up. It's like building blocks. You're moving mountains. You're making mountains. You're building each other up. All your friends are these bricks. They're these bricks. You're the foundation. And you need these bricks tear you down, not tear you down, but to build you up, to build you up, to build you up, to build you up. Now these seasonal friends are hammers, and they're just tearing away from you. They're tearing away from this foundation, this building, this mountain, they're tearing you down. You don't need that. So these are three chains we need to break. Three chains we need to break. The fourth chain is can. We need to get that out of vocabulary. Anything's possible. Anything's possible if you put your mind to it. Anything's possible. Don't let people tell you, especially because I, I go to school in Mississippi, you know, they'll look and go, oh, you can't do nothing with that degree because, oh, you go to that school. It doesn't matter. I know people that went to higher up schools and they have a hard time finding jobs just like everyone else. In fact, I know people that came from like my school and had good jobs coming out of college. It's all in luck, it's all in strategy, and that's a whole nother video, but that's all in a way you prepare stuff. That's a whole nother ball game. It doesn't matter what school you went to, it determines what you get out of that school and what you learn from that school that's going to get you to be successful in later life. And success doesn't mean money. Success can mean anything. Your happiness, anything. It can, it can be any, any of those. It doesn't have to necessarily be money. But that's a chain we need to break too. And we need to move mountains. When we break these chains, we can move so many mountains and things will become so clear with us. But you gotta learn how to pick your battles. You have to learn to pick your battles. It may seem hard sometimes, but have faith in God and anything's possible. But you have to pick your battles wisely and break these chains because you have all you have the one chain I talked about and the second chain, the third and the fourth and all these other chains and they're wrapped around you. How are you going to move? How are you going to move so you can move mountains? You can't move. You're shackled. You're tied up in your own problems. That's why we need to break these chains. And how we break these chains, you break these chains by talking to God, talking to your friends, talking to your family, making plans, brainstorming. But that is how you break chains and become responsible. And it's so funny. They say you learn so much out of college, at least especially your first year. And I learned so much so I can tell y'all guys because all these chains I talked about, I broke them. Or I'm on my way to breaking them and moving mountains. Because in the end, that's all we want to do. 
is move mountains and make this beautiful, beautiful life for ourselves. So that's my inspiration for y'all. You ain't think I was like that. <laughs> okay, until next time. Yeah, 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 yeah.